Hey YouTube, this is a Wheelchair 21 review, and uh, this is on Doyle's Discussions. Uh, our review for the night is Candy Toy Shinken Shinkinger Series Daigoyo. Um, or as everyone knows, DX Jose. Power Sombrero. With no sombrero. Um, well, it's not really DX, but you, you get the joke. Anyway, um, the Candy Toy comes in two parts. Lantern, and then legs, and I think hands go with the whole thing. It's like this collection. Uh, when it's fi finally put together, you have the full form of Dai Goyo in lantern mode. Ah, oh, crap! I think I okay, no, I didn't. Okay, I thought I broke it. Um, Dai Goyo in this mode, you have the rod, the uh, staff saber thing that I don't know what exactly you would use it, call it, but uh. Kenta mostly used it with fighting with Daigoyo. Um, Daigoyo, you know, is the paper lantern that Sh Genta made and has the uh, logo for Shinken for uh, Shiba. Um, it fires a disc. Let me just show you. I don't know if you all saw that, but it fires a disc. The disc is, uh, is like, main weapon that he fires throughout the show. Um, I'm trying to hold it in the white better so you guys can at least see some symbols. I, I really can't display it good with the camera here as when I was at my dad's because I had the three uh, three bulb uh, lamp. Um, other than that, they did good with like trying to get the thing to look kind of light up. They made a light up Daigoyo middle set that you would put together. To, it was a simple put together, I believe. And you just add it with the one that you already had to make it actually look like it was lighting up because it did light up compared to this one, which is fake. Um, and so let me just show you how it goes together. For how it goes together, you just pull the legs off. It's quite easy. And then you switch them around to get its legs in. Um, to get his head to come out, you just, I believe, just pull, yeah, you just pull on the head and it usually just pops right out. Um, and then for the arms, once you pull it out, it looks something like this. And then with the arms, it's going to be the one that's the hilt. It just fell off the laptop. The one that's the hilt will be his right arm. The one that is like the main saber part will be his left arm. And this is the complete Daigoyo candy toy, toy form. Um, it's one of my favorite out of the candy toys series. Um, actually... I think most of them are my favorites in their own sets, but when you uh, do the final Gatai Samurai Hal, I really don't like the combination as much. Just well, not in show wise. I mean by toy wise. I mean I like uh, Daikayo and uh, Shinkano's form, and I really like Daigoyo's just because of his whole uh, reflective uh, sticker. And he does have another form. It's the Shinken. Daigoyo, where he links with the other origamis to become uh, Daigoyo with the Shinkenjiru's attached to him. It was a goof episode, like, kind of, where it was kind of comical, and then they're like, hey, let's do it again because I want to fight, and so he fought with the Shinkenjiru's, because it was the one where uh, they got uh, Roy Mogu, Dai Mogu Bozuka. And so let me quickly just show you how that goes together. So, it just goes like regular Shinkano does. You're going to put the uh, dragon on the left leg. I screwed that up, if anyone doesn't know. I, I switched the legs around when I did my Dai Kai Shinkano review. That's just because um, I was rushing it, and I didn't really take the time to kind of sort things out or pre-do it and then tape it then. I probably should sometimes, but I think since this is just um, Dai Goyo, it's a really simple review since I have the camera right in front of me. Since I already had it for uh, Daikai Shinkano, and I'm just probably going to need to reset it, it's going to be really easy for me now. Um, um, this is a difficult part always with the monkey. Alright, so this is the final form for Daigoyo's other stages. It's Shinken Daigoyo. Um, it was only used twice. It's not really a... Right, it was a rare combination. It was pretty cool when using it. I'm pretty sure it was twice, not or maybe three. Um, 
his finishing move, he always put his arm together to form the javelin and would throw it at the opponent and then throw the discs at them, creating a barrage of on, uh, an onslaught of disc barrage. Um, he also used the uh, spring-like of how the origami of the, the dragon origami would form as a jump to deliver a kick. Uh, he only did that for the one episode, I believe, not both. Um, and all this form, it's pretty nice. It's not as bulky as the deluxe version, I believe, from pictures I've seen. I myself don't own a deluxe version, so I don't really know. But, I mean, it works nice. The legs don't really move as well as it does for uh, uh, Shinkano's combination, because his legs are short and stubby, so you're not going to get that much mo movement out of him. I mean, you're going to get at least enough to make it look like he's running or jumping or kicking. Uh, the arms, more or less, do have the better result to go with the figure. Um, for me, I do recommend it as a buy, or was a buy. Uh, sorry I couldn't do it sooner, but I had no camera at the time. So, for th those of you who are now seeing this and don't realize the date it was taken, I'm sorry. Uh, you might be able to be able to get some on uh, eBay, maybe. I don't know. I mean... I know a lot of candy toys, they just disappear once they're sold, as you all know, for uh, CS Toys followers. But, I mean, now that i am finally got this camera, I want to get done my reviews with that I thought I could get done with or what I wanted to originally do when I wanted to become a not become a reviewer, but do some reviews. So, um, this is my review of Daigoyo. Deluxe Jose! And we'll see you later, YouTube.